All right, Botox and fillers, let's talk about it. I'm Jasmine and I'm a nurse injector here at Cool Springs Plastic Surgery. So there's a lot of misconception between Botox and dermal fillers, so I'll just get right into it and talk to you about it. So in our office, we carry both Botox and Dysport, both of which are categorized as neuromodulators. So neuromodulators temporarily relaxes the facial muscle by blocking the facial nerve that communicates to that targeted muscle so that it can't contract. So Botox and Dysport are great for smoothing dynamic wrinkles and creases that occur from repetitive muscle movement. So um, it takes about two weeks to see the full effect of neuromodulators and it can last anywhere from three to four months. Now, dermal fillers on the other hand can also be used to improve crease lines. However, it has a different mechanism of action than neuromodulators. So dermal fillers do not affect the muscle. So um, say there's a depression, the dermal filler can be injected into the tissue to fill out that depression, like in the marionette lines or around the mouth, the lip lines. Dermal fillers can also be used to add volume like in the cheeks and the most loved area the lips okay so um, in our office we carry derma fillers composed of hyaluronic acid which is a naturally produced sugar that's found in the body now derma fillers can last anywhere from eight months to two years depending on the type of filler that is being used and the results are immediate but you will have a little bit of swelling so you got to factor in that time Hopefully this video gives you a better understanding between the differences of Botox and fillers. But if you have any questions, just comment below or you can call our office to schedule a complimentary consultation. Again, I'm Jasmine and I hope to see you soon.